what's up guys it's badass brown skin back with another video so in this video i will be doing a hair review slash install um, from smh hair on amazon they sent me an eight inch bob it was pre-plucked and um it also came with two stocking caps <clears throat> so i want to be installing this wig on my mom um, and i'm going to be doing the stocking cap method um she really wanted like a a summer hairstyle and you know wigs can get hot but this was the perfect short wig for her and um i just wanted to style it and see how it would come out so first we're going to add glue on the stocking cap where we want to cut it out at this is a new glue that i have been testing out and trying it is a waterproof super hold lace glue um and I, I can admit, guys, this shit is really, really, really strong and sticky, and it definitely holds the water. I went to a water park with this glue and the wig, and my wig stayed on for the rest of the week, so it, it, it holds. But foundation on this, there's a few things that I do still want to um, test it on. Like, it's a few cons about it, so I'm going to do a review about that glue. So anyway, we're putting foundation on the lace, um, so that way when we put the lace on the hair, we don't even have to do all the foundation on the stocking cap, you know, we just divine the part that we're going to use. So the lace matches her scalp perfectly now, we're going to go ahead and cut the lace um, to her hairline. When you cut the lace, make sure that you do like a jacket cut, not so much straight because it is so much more visible when you got a straight cut. Um, on the lace and you're laying it down like you can see where all the lace is at so just try to cut jaggedly into the hairline and it'll all just um, blend in so perfectly so now I'm putting another layer of this glue with this glue you don't even have to add free spray like the glue is so sticky you legit spread it and stick it in place and hold it down for 15 minutes so I'm putting another layer on so we can stick that layer to the lace and we're just going to press the lace um, in place where we want it and let it sit for about 15 minutes. So now we're just going to clip the hair out of her face. This wig came originally in the middle part, but we're going to give her a side part hairstyle because of how short it is. We're going to do a really nice bang. Um, but the hairline of this wig is so gorgeous, as you guys can see. So I'm going to take a hot comb to go ahead and mold the hair the direction I want it to go. Use the hot comb from the roots and slowly um, just drag it up and, or back or whatever direction you want it to that will mold the hair um, and you do it slowly so that way it can mold it um, slowly. The hot comb is usually really hot. I have a hot comb that you put on the stove. A lot of people have the plug up ones. I don't think they get as hot. My friend had one. But the one you put on the stove, you got to put it on paper towel uh, for it to cool down because it can burn and singe the hair on site. So you have to let it cool down. If it burns your paper that you're sitting it on, the paper towel, uh, it has to cool down a little bit more. And that happened with me. Um, it burnt the paper towel that I was sitting on, so it had to cool down. Just don't want to burn your wig. So, um, yeah. But when you mold it slowly, um, you get every piece of hair that you need to go whatever direction, that direction. So now we're going to take some razor shears. And um, I'm going to go ahead and cut her a bang. A regular bang. Side bang. Because all of the hair is still like the same length <clears throat> besides like the top layer because it is a bob but we did want a nice thick bang and the hair was just kind of too long in the face so went ahead and did a diagonal bang.
So now that we have everything like hot comb and pressed out, you can see, you can actually see the natural hairline of the wig. You know, when you order wigs and they come in, sometimes the hairlines look bulky or it just look too thick. Sometimes you really just have to wash it and hot comb it because it's it's not like that. The hair is just like really like lifted at the root for some reason. So yeah, that's just a little tip. So we're just gonna go ahead and give her some baby hair. Something natural, nothing too crazy, not no circus swirls. We're just gonna give her some little regular swoops, you know. It is my mom. She she loves um something like, you know, just a little swoop. But because she don't really do no baby hair. She got thick edges and she just do a swoop on both sides. So I just want to keep that same natural feel when giving her a wig because that's the kind of style that she would do. So um, that's what we're doing here. We had already cut the hairs with the razor combs. I had cut that part out because it was really long. But I um, just went through and cut the, cut the edges with the razor comb. You know what I'm saying? So we got some baby hairs. And now I'm just going to um, style the baby hairs. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this process. Oh, also pay good attention to the quality of this hair. I know you guys see it bouncing and shining. It is awesome quality hair and this bob was only like $50. So this is a summer steel, uh, uh, easy wig to add to your wig collection. It is all worth it. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now we're just going to add some finishing touches to the bang, go ahead and shape it to the bob because like I said we did cut the bang because it was the same length as all the rest of the hair. So we're just going to give it a nice um, smooth transition of a bang into the rest of the bob, you know what I'm saying. Now we're going to go ahead and define the part. I feel like I put a little bit too much concealer um, because the brush like picked up a lot of it and it wasn't, the brush also wasn't as thin as I was hoping so. It kind of like smeared out a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. But for the time, like when it was first, like, you know what I'm saying, pressed in, it looked like it was just spreading a little too much. But I usually don't put concealer in my part, so I'm just not really used to like <laughs> doing it all the time. So it just felt really weird for me, but I figured I'd throw that out there. But it, it, it looked out. <laughs> I can't even talk. It looked out because it defined the fuck out of her part. And like it just looked really good, like an overall bomb ass leg. My mama was shook because she ain't never get her like wigs laid or nothing like that. She don't really wear wigs. She always wear her natural hair. She got pretty ass natural hair. So and I don't blame her, but um, I definitely wanted to put this wig on her before myself. I got a round ass circle ass head, so I would have looked like <sighs> what's the girl off the Incredible? So I like her with a fatter face. So no thank you. My mama rocked it. She rocked it. It looked mad good. Look at that hair. Look how it's just falling and flowing. Bomb quality. I don't got a lot about it. Y'all interested in the hair? I have the information and the details below. This wig was about $50 and it's worth it. I'm telling you from my lips. So with that being said, I'll be back with another video soon. Bye! Yep, SMH hair link in description. All of that is in the bio. Thank you for watching.